Well, good morning, everybody. It's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. It's Monday, the 6th of May, Bank Holiday Monday. And it's uh, up past nine in the morning, and I'm just going to the warehouse. So I thought I'd take you for a ride with me. I'm sure today we'll see loads of young farmers with their, spoof, with their suitcases jumping on, the, on their tractors and going home today. Blackpool survived another Young Farmers weekend, like we always do. So there'll be lots of young farmers walking around hungover today. I know the young farmers, probably loads of them just coming in now. So we'll go along the front up to Booker's. There's a few people milling around, not many. As at your normal hotel checkout time is 10 o'clock. And it should be busy-ish today and up until about three o'clock and then it'll just go very, very quiet. Because obviously everybody has got to go back to work and all the farmers need to go back on the sides of their mountains to look after their sheep and stuff like that and whatever other things farmers do. Drive around in tractors and combined harvesters. It's 12 degrees, it's not cold, but it is very, um, very overcast today. It has been a busy weekend like normal at the arcade, which is what you'd expect on a back holiday weekend. You can see all the people walking around with their suitcases and stuff like that. Pleasure Beach is going to start opening full time too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> and again. Well, South Pier is open. Can't imagine a lot going on there. Oh, there's a lot of people in Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons is pretty packed at the moment. I've just got the Weatherspoons to the left-hand side of me. There's people outside Weatherspoons drinking beer at half past nine in the morning. Oh my God, I could not drink beer at half past nine in the morning. I'll be honest, I didn't even know Weatherspoons opened this time. It was open at this time. But you learn something new every day. I've never really noticed, tell you the truth. They're still working on that old arcade on the uh, the front of the Pleasure Beach. And he said, I've no idea what it's going to be. I think, I, I think, I think I'm sure I've read somewhere they're just doing it up, basically. Just going past the old haunted crypt. I believe you're no longer operating. We'll go around this way just to uh, 
skip a bit of the road. Go past the big blue hotel. A lot of people, uh, you can't see the way the camera's angled, but there's a lot of people loading the cars up now. So this is a typical Sunday to be fair. Um, so it's like a Sunday, it's Monday obviously, but it's like a Sunday where if the weather's nice, people stay for the day. But if it's a little bit blur and overcast, they'll disappear pretty uh, soon. And it's looking a bit blur and overcast at the moment. So a lot of people just head off home now. We've been this way dozens of times at the back of the Solana Centre. And we're just heading towards the sand dunes. There's a head of sand dunes ahead of me there. Obviously, for those of you who've been with me before this way, it's all residential, this area. This has always been residential. It's never been bed and breakfast or anything like that around here. This has always been residential. Who remembers where that, that apartment block there, on just on the left-hand side? When I first moved to Blackpool, that used to be a petrol station. I assume that went down to the wall because of Morrison's. Obviously, Morrison's is a lot cheaper. Right, Squires Gate Lane. Past the Zest of India. I've not been in the Zest of India. I went to when it was called the Lee Raj. It was actually quite nice when it was called the Lee Raj. But that was a few years ago, so I've no idea how long it's changed the Zest of India. open as well. Just looking at the airport, there's a there's a, an Eno at the airport, a uh, a fireman engine. That being a fireman engine that actually belongs in the airport. Down here on the right hand side of the car and van mental place. You can book them online. I remember uh, one year, a few years ago, a car I had was playing up and I had to go down to the Midlands, so I had to hire a car. And you just book it online and budget car hire and you just pick it up by the airport. I don't think they do that many cars. I can't imagine a lot of people hiring cars around here. And obviously, because it's it's at the non-commercial airport. Uh, that, um, so it only has like helicopter flights and stuff like that. I can't imagine there being that much of a call for higher cars there. But obviously there must be a call because they, they've got a few but not a lot. I've just got Morrison's to the right hand side of me and the halfway house front to me. I'm a bit tired this morning. It was quite late by the time I got back last night. And obviously another morning, early morning start. But I'm guessing it'll be, as I said, I'm guessing it'll be an early finish tonight. And I'll probably be going back to 12, uh, half 11 till 4 during the week. A 
lot of people have asked me if I, when we do these videos, if I can walk around Bockers and show them a video of me inside Bockers. Unfortunately, uh, that's not allowed. I, I have asked inside Bockers and the company policy is no filming inside uh, inside Bockers. That's just their, their company policy, so it is what it is. It's got nothing to do with the guys at Bookers itself here. They're just under instructions, no filming allowed inside. That's their company policy. And it's obviously a big brand. And I'm not going to do any covert training. And one, I don't believe in it anyway. If you're going to do filming, I believe in being upfront about doing filming. You should always ask people if you can film. And also inform people that they're on camera. So one thing that I absolutely hate is I, I don't mind at all anybody filming me. I get filmed most days, but at least tell me I'm going to be filmed. At least say, I'm, uh, is it okay for me to film you? Can I come and film in your arcade? I've never ever turned anybody down for filming, but just have the common courtesy to always ask somebody, always ask them. So if you do do filming, yeah, always ask people or tell them what you're doing if you're filming the outside. It's just common courtesy. There's nothing worse. Last week or something like that, I was working and somebody just walked straight up to the arcade while I'm working with a camera straight in my face. Just really in my face while I'm working. I've got a big queue on and they rammed the camera straight in my face, started going on, and I just ignored them and just told them to get the camera away from me because they were just rude. And there was no need to be rude like that. If they'd have said, can I film yet? Uh, I'd have been absolutely fine about it, but the way they just literally walked up and just rammed the camera in my face, it was just, it was just rude. There was just no common courtesy. So, as I say, if you do ever want to do any filming inside, just ask. If they say no, they say no. Because it's, if, it, if you're inside a private business, it's entirely up to them. Any time I've done it, oh, look, some horsey clip clops. See the horsey clip clops crossing the road? They're going over the morning run. So, as I said, so if you ever do any filming, if there's any uh, would be YouTubers out there, guys, don't forget, always be courteous and courteous. Always be, uh, always ask if you're going into a private uh, place, if you can film, and always tell people that you're filming. It's just rude not to. Anyway, another of my spat about that. So like normal, I'm coming this way because it's still only early, it's only quarter to nine, no, uh, quarter to ten. And then we'll go back a yeed away. Like normal, to make to make my life a lot easier, I'll just leave the camera running when I get into Bookers. So if you want to skip through the video uh, to, to see our return journey, you can do. normal stuff today, burgers, burger rolls. I am going to pick some box of bacon up there for Peter. The irony of it, eh? I don't do bacon. I'm actually going to go pick a box of bacon up for uh, Mr. Turner because they phoned me out of bacon. And he, he knew I was going to Buckers this morning, so he phoned me up last night asking if I could pick him a box of bacon up. Tell you what, when I get it back in the car, I'll tell you how much it is for a box of bacon. It is not cheap. I know that. to get my van back though because obviously because I can't fit as much stuff in my car I'm having to do 
but when, when I have the van, I was going every day, every other day at this time of the year. But when it comes, because I've got my car, I'm having to go every day now. I'll just park here and you'll be able to watch the movements of the people going in and out and stuff like that. Okay, well, I just need to find my phone. phone. Need that? Okay, then. I'll see you in about 10 minutes.
right, so I've got all my stock now and I've got the bacon for young Mr. Peter. So I'll just load the car up now. I will be so proud when I get my van back. So I'm just in the boot now, guys, loading up the boot. Right, like normal, my car's absolutely packed full. So, we're going to go to Pete's first because I've got to drop his bacon off. And it is, uh, I'll tell you the time in a second. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. So, I say I'm not open for an hour and a half anyway, but I better go and drop Pete's bacon off because he's meant to be open at 10 o'clock. Whether he's open by the time we get there or not will be another matter, but the plan was for them to open at 10 o'clock. So it'll actually give me time, because I've got loads of time, it'll give me time to go in there. They drop the bacon off and grab a brew before I need to get to my place. As you're aware, I've told you before, it only takes 20 minutes, half an hour for my stuff to, uh, to heat up. I spend more time looking for a parking space. So we go back either way now. time in the morning you can normally gauge what type of day it's going to be because depending on how many are coming out of Blackpool so how many because you see Blackpool being pretty busy so that means a lot of people have stayed over so you can gauge how busy you're going to have a day how many people are actually leaving Blackpool at 10 o'clock in the morning if there's loads of people exiting and not a lot of people going in you know you'll have a quiet day Well, there definitely seems to be people going out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can see the see it now. 
so you can see all the people exiting Blackpool now. As I said, it's a bit overcast, so you would expect that anyway. Oh, God, I've got to wake myself up. So please put below, did you skip the video when I was uh, inside Booker's in the 10, 15 minutes I was in there? Or did you wait, did you watch it all the way through, seeing what was happening, seeing what movement was happening in Booker's? So the, bur the bacon, as I said, for a box of bacon is now just over 50 quid. When I used to do bacon, it was about £26 a box. Which just shows it's doubled in price. Bacon has doubled in price. And there's a few coaches leaving as well. I feel sorry for the coach drivers sometimes because you, you see they come into the burger bar all the time, the coach drivers, and uh, they'll come in and they'll drop people off in Blackpool and then they've got to pick them up, say, eight hours later. So they're, so they're just sat in Blackpool with nothing to do, which sounds great, but not when you're doing it four or five times a week. So they drive to Blackpool, drop the people off, have to hang around for eight hours to take it back home again. God, that must be so boring. And like you say, it's different if you uh, if you come here every now and then for a few days because you're seeing stuff you've not seen. But if you're doing it every single day. Oh, somebody stole at the top of the tower. When we go, when the car points in the right direction, You'll see how overcast it is. Uh, you can't see the top of the tower. Or somebody's stolen it. So we've got Palatine School on my right hand side, the local uh, high school. High school, why did we start calling them high schools? It's an Americanism, isn't it? Everything's gone to Americanism now. High schools, they have school proms and all that. Like, there was nothing like that when I was at school. See what I mean? Top of the tower's been stolen. It was called a, a comp, comprehensive school. And you had no such thing as a prom at the end of the year. On the Friday, you just left and you never saw anybody again. It was that simple. So there's the farm foods on the right hand side. I would imagine that's going to get quite busy now because it's normally been reasonably quiet, that farm foods. But I believe they've closed the one down on Devonshire Road uh, for a, re a refurbishment. So obviously, I think this is the next closest one. Well, this person seems to be taking the time on the road. Right, well, should we go right or left? Doesn't really make a lot of difference. We'll go right because we normally go left. We'll go down Central Drive. The main car park still not open. I can't believe they missed another back holiday weekend with that new main car park. 
well, go past the football ground as you can see and then at uh, that arcade club and this is Bloomfield Road and we've just gone past the Bloomfield football ground and then we're turning left onto Central Drive. I was up the other day, which I'll probably need to go back to because the bloody birds have been crapping all over my car again. I swear to God, that Turner trains their pigeons to crap all over my car. So hopefully, this, sometime this week, I'm going to actually get my van back. I so want my van back. I so miss my van. As I said, I just will that I won't have to do as many trips because I, I need to buy volume. And as I've said before, the problem is the burger rolls take up so much space in my car. I can barely get eight boxes in the back seat of my car. Where the van, I can get like loads and loads and loads of it. So a weekend, I can get majority of the stock in one go. Turn left out here on Chapel Street. This is looking a little bit rough around here, but I do believe there's plans to uh, do it all up because obviously, with that new complex that's going in the back of Peace Place, uh, where the King Edward pub is, is where the hotel's going, big hotel. And I believe, as a part of that, the council have got to clean up the whole area. So you can see a lot of buildings, businesses, are closed down now. Obviously, no one's going to rent them um, until the whole area is being cleaned up. So there are a lot of empty businesses around here at the moment. You can just see them all on the right-hand side. I never really got that. Cigarette Waste Art Gallery. What the hell is all that about? They make they make art out of out of cigarette butts. Right there, some of them young farmer type people going home. It's not open yet. He lied, he was meant to be open at 10 o'clock. And it's now quarter past. So I'm here at Pete's now, so I'm just gonna go and uh, drop off his box of bacon. And go and grab me a brew. Okay then. Not a lot going on there. That's a typical day driving backwards and forwards to Bookers. 
Uh, but hopefully I won't have to do as many of them when I get my van back. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will speak to you guys later. Oh, excuse me. I'm still tired. See you later, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.